Hello, I will talk about uh, YouTube. I'm doing video editing like crazy. Multiple computers, remote desktop, multiple tabs, video editing running 24 7. It is getting overwhelming. I have many folders, many hard drives. Wow, I just. Um, Previously, I thought I couldn't handle it having six YouTube channels to make videos for. But the brain can adapt. The brain can do incredible things that you didn't think you could. So if you are exposed to something tough, the brain will adapt, like with the muscles. Uh, so that's the same thing with people who are born. Maybe they are born into some kind of a situation where they have to use their brain every day. Or maybe they have a hobby in, when they are young. That's how they become bright. They become smarter. They, they, get the, they are the top student in school. It's not because they, are, they have a good genetics or anything, they, it's just because they started by doing certain things in their life that required them to use their brain every day and they, they just made it a habit and just improved further on that. For example, if you're, if you're interested in maybe you get a book when you are young, like a math book, and you don't have any other books, so you just read that book. Then you become interested in math. But if you start, maybe you get some toys like a Barbie doll. You get inter interested in that instead. So it all depends on how you are raised, what you start with. And if you think uh, something is tough, you, you just get used to it, no problem. Everyone will get used to anything. So I'm just doing multitasking like crazy and I previously I was really bad at multitasking I was really the worst I just I could only do one thing at the same time like uh, 20 years ago just a single thing I couldn't focus I couldn't read anything just uh, had to do just one one thing at the same time I couldn't do two things I couldn't uh, concentrate if there was noise around me but now everything has changed. I can do a lot of stuff. I can do incredible things in my life with a lot of distractions and noise all around me. I can, I, on my computer display, I have uh, uh, two web browsers beside each other. I can just read from both of them at the same time and have a video editing running and watching, uh, listening to something uh, on YouTube at the same time. So I can just do, I thought I couldn't do stuff like this before. But everyone can adapt and do anything, anything. And people who say other people were so lucky, they were born with some kind of special ability. Uh, they were not born with that, they just they started when they were younger and did that and became interested in that kind of a hobby. So if you are interested in anything, you can become great at it. It's not going to be a problem. If something is tough in the beginning, it, it's going to get easier. You have a certain sport you, you struggle with, it's going to get easier. You struggle with math, it's gonna get easier. Many people hate math because they don't know anything about math. But when they become interested in it, when they become interested in learning, that is when they make those great progress. And maybe they start to love math because they now understand it finally. Okay, so all those uh, students in school, 
Maybe something happened to them when they were young, which resulted in them being at home and studying all day long instead of going out with their friends. And if they, if something else had happened in their youth, that uh, maybe they got a friend, uh, a bad friend, who took them out uh, to cause trouble, maybe then they wouldn't have become uh, good at school. But because they were lucky and avoided a bad influence uh, from bad friends, they stayed at home and studied, and they they started to enjoy it. Okay, so it all depends on your life, how it turns out. And nobody is better than another person, everyone are equal. It all just depends on uh, the path you take. And everyone can, if someone is going the wrong path, he can change and take the right path at any moment in life. So it's a really, really powerful thing to know that you can do anything you want in life and you don't have any, any weaknesses. The only weakness you have is uh, that you don't try, that you give up. Because if you give up, you don't get anywhere in life. You want to have a vision, you want to know where you want to go and then you just go there it's a simple as that you see where you want to go you see I, I see that sign over there that's where I want to go so I go there simple very simple but many people just they just stop they become afraid they say maybe I can't do it maybe I should turn back and that's a mistake if you really want it go and get it just go and get it. And many people have excuses and say, I'm not good enough. Someone else was born with better genetics. Someone else was born with a greater intelligence. That's just a silly excuse to give because everyone are equally intelligent. It just depends on what you do with your time. You can use your intelligence for uh, learning how to do makeup, learning how to party, learning how to do math, anything. What are you using your brain for? You want to use your brain for what you're interested in. That is your specific intelligence, like in an African tribe where they supposedly have 50 IQ. They are good at their specific thing. That's what they focus on and they don't focus on the other thing that uh, people consider uh, high intelligence like numbers. So just go out there, do your thing, create a bigger brain for what you need, what you need it for. Like for example, Taxi drivers, they have develop, developed an area in their brain uh, that is good at memorizing the city. That is their intelligence. And uh, it doesn't have anything to do with how intelligent they were in the beginning. It's just that their brain, brain, their brain has grown bigger to handle that kind of a load that is uh, being given to them every day when uh, someone enters their taxi and they say, drive me to this address. And then the taxi driver eventually learns all the street addresses in the city by adapting his brain. Everyone can do it. And just, just like me with the YouTube, I'm handling six uh, YouTube channels, making videos every day. 
doing uh, face swapping for those videos multiple computers at the same time and uh, running around with uh, optimizing everything graphics cards uh, memory sticks cpus i today i just swapped two cpus because uh, the motherboard i wanted to optimize the motherboard for that cpu being used so i swapped those today and i do all kinds of optimizations every day for my video editing to make it more efficient and this this requires to a lot of brain power to do multitasking with uh, all of these videos all of many computers too many to count like a dozen computers doing video editing different tasks for each computer many tasks take like uh, a couple hours some of them take a couple days and some take a couple months and I had just had to keep track of all the times when each process is finished and that adds extra complexity to everything that I had to keep track of those six computers where that uh, conversion process will be finished at that specific time and then the second computer at that time and then I need to just plan ahead for my sleep that I don't want any any conversion of a video to be finished in the middle of the night so I just have to plan ahead and split those videos those uh, short videos I convert during the day long videos I convert during the night when I sleep so that let's say I put a eight hour conversion process uh, overnight so when I wake up it is finished so I don't lose any time if if the convert is finished in the middle of the night that would mean that the computer is left idle the rest of the night and I don't want that I want to optimize everything so I thought I couldn't do do stuff like this to handle so many YouTube accounts but you can do it you can just uh, gradually increase the load like with a taxi driver maybe he first will learn one city then he will learn a second city and continue like that everyone can do it everyone can do whatever they want to do and I'm pretty certain that that is a this is a good practice for me to be able to control many robots in the future like a hundred robots that I will control with my mind at the same time to do that multitasking that's my goal okay just this is just a practice that I do a dozen computers is just a practice for me for the future for what is to come and I'm already doing uh, machine learning on, on the computer it's the same thing as you need for artificial intelligence Okay, so I will, I will go now. I will see you next time. Goodbye.